Hey guys, how y'all doing? Thomas here. Um, haven't had a uh, story in a, about a week. I've been very busy with um, with my um, job, and so and they've been giving me a lot to do. So <laughs> I'm happy to be employed. So uh, uh, this one, this um, is uh, a time that I wanted to at least uh, put this video out. Um, this one I'm going to call <laughs> CSI <laughs> Baltimore. <laughs> this is a story of, of being buried. We, this has had to be about 1994. About 1994. Um, <clears throat> and in this video, um, we talk about the being buried. We we uh, crack a case, a, a real case. <laughs> Um, so, um, a little preamble, me and Barry, we, we were just like this, and uh, in this, uh, we always wanted to be, you know, we were like chips, uh, you know, we always, you know, followed uh, police and that kind of thing, uh, Barry himself was a deputy sheriff, and, and uh, so he had the credentials, he had the, the, the gum and all that sort of stuff, and uh, but you know we were, I don't know we were the do our thing, and uh, you know we were both um, guardian angels of the Baltimore City chapter, um, first graduating class back in uh, 1981. <clears throat> so uh, we had some training, or, or I had some training in, in law enforcement, and also I had some um, classes in uh, law enforcement investigation as well. Um, so uh, we've had um, a lineage of um, investigation and Barry was more of a professional than I was, although um, I had worked for CJ Security for University of Maryland. So be that as it may. <clears throat> so um, we were driving, uh, we're going to go to uh, Barry's cousin's house, we're from the east side of Baltimore, and we were, you know, just doing our thing and we had pulled over. And um, so um, we, you know, we're in a secluded area because <clears throat> we were we were going to uh, drink a couple beers before we go over to his cousin's house a little around the corner. And uh, so we were, you know, just sitting in his truck. If you remember the truck that uh, he totaled, uh, look up here. So um, the story about that one is, is up here. <laughs> But anyway, before it was total, okay. <clears throat> so what happened was uh, we were just drinking a beer. So you know, and we seen this guy, guy walking in the neighborhood. I don't know this guy from Adam, okay. So uh, you know, we just sitting there drinking. You know, he walked in front of us, walked behind the van, I mean the truck. You know, and we didn't think anything about it. And then he walked forward again, about maybe about ten minutes later on, and then um, he walked back again. Ten minutes, about five minutes later on, and I said, "Okay, this guy's done this two times already." Okay, so my brain is said, "Okay, what's going on with this?" Because you know, there's nobody around except for us and this guy walking back and forth. So then, <clears throat> and we're drinking and chilling, listening to music, and you know, you know, getting our little thing on. And and uh, so I'm, I see the guy walk by and back again. So you know, I'm just doing things. So next thing, I see dude climbing up a wall going into a um an industrial area you know and i said hey barry check that out um uh, this guy over here he's doing a breaking and entering and so he looked back in this very mirror and he saw the same thing i did <laughs> i said okay <laughs> so uh, he got he he goes in and, and and gets in and then about ten minutes later on, he climbs back out of the building you know over the fence, and he has two trash bags, um, and I know he wasn't Santa Claus <laughs> and it wasn't Christmas, <laughs> so and he didn't have red on and he didn't have a beard, <laughs> so that, that that leaves that <laughs> that means that something funny was going on so. What Barry and I did, so he he said that um, okay, well, 
uh, since he was a deputized officer and he did see this person breaking and entering um, and he decided to at the act so so what he did was um, he got out the vehicle and he says uh, uh, he said uh, just watch watch out for me because I'm his, I'm his you know I'm his his backup and he says okay so um, Barry goes out and he confronts the guy he says um, what's going on and the guys talk to him and then the guy starts running and then Barry pursues the guy okay and I'm like okay so he got back in the truck and we drove around uh, trying to catch the guy so he got close to the guy so then he 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 jumps out the truck and he um, proceeds to catch the guy but before he did that um, he told me see follow me with the car okay so he breaks out his police radio because he had it with him he says uh, he calls for a signal 13 which is uh, officer needs assistance immediately and this is a Sunday afternoon so um, he calls for a signal 13 uh, on this particular street that we chase the guy to so he called the signal 13 and uh, Barry tackles the guy yes he does he tackles him and then I'm I'm you know I'm following him and as he runs up because I've never, he has a stick. I had never driven a stick before, okay, in his truck. He showed me how to drive a stick, so I finally learned how to drive a stick. So so he, he follows the guy, and, I, and I'm following him, following the other guy. So then Barry tackles the guy, and he brings him down. And then I'm hearing all these sirens all over the place. I'm back, I'm, I'm back at Barry, uh, I'm, you know, and, you know, uh, because I, I'm not deputizing him like that, you know, I kind of just, you know, just watch his back because um, he's in a vulnerable situation. And, and, you know, and when we were in the Guardian Angels, uh, we were taught how to protect the scene. Um, so um, to make sure that nobody comes into the scene, only our lieutenant would go in to make the arrest. So I had to be his backup, although I didn't have a gun. I still knew my guardian angels move, so I was like this, you know, in case anything <laughs> broke off, you know, anybody was coming. Yeah, people were coming around, you know. I, I was, you know, I was watching my man's back because he's not gonna go down. Okay, so about three minutes later on, we get all these Baltimore City police cars swarming, poof, like that. So um, Barry identifies himself as a, a Baltimore City sheriff uh, deputy. And they make the arrests, and the and the guy had the had the bags, and he was able to identify uh, the bags that the gentleman had. Um, so uh, they put the guy in cuffs, and uh, they arrested him. And uh, um, Barry had to fill out a report. So I had to, you know, so we we he did that, you know. And um, you know, the interesting thing is that. Um, uh, I um, never knew what the outcome of that case was, and, you know, all the years I never thought about it again, um, but uh, I don't know what happened with that guy, whether he got probation or what, I, you know, I, it kind of slipped our minds, you know, because we, we had the adrenaline rush going on, <laughs> so, um, so it was, it was pretty cool, and um, it was a, it was an experience, you know, uh, so I don't know what the income outcome was, but I know Dew was definitely found and you know, you know, guilty because he he had the he had the evidence right there. And Barry said, "You know, I saw this guy climbing over a fence, so you're pretty much done." So, but like I said, I don't know what the outcome of the case is. So um, later on, about Barry said, "You know, we because uh, we're you know we're I mean we're we're you know." <laughs> we're, we're, we're like Stosky and Hutch together. He said, you know, he said, okay, Barry, one, he said, uh, okay, TJ, one time what we're going to do when I go on patrol, you know, and we go down, I want you to come with me uh, to, you know, on the scene. You know, you can you can be with me as I'm, you know, uh, just be an observer. And I said, okay, man, that sounds cool. That never happened. It never happened. 
that was the only time where we actually, when he was in his police capacity or in his law enforcement capacity, he we, we worked together um, for a uh, for a, um, a real event. You know, it was cool. You know, it was, you know, we we he knew I knew what he was doing, and he knew what I was going to do because he knew that I had his back no matter what. So. We, we kind of worked like Starsky and Hutch because we were watching Starsky and Hutch and watching Chips and all the other stuff. So, so we, we knew ex exactly what the play was. It's just that we've been practicing this for a number of years. So we were actually had a chance to actually to do our thing in a real life basis. And uh, it was really exhilarating. And we, uh, we had a good time. Um, and it was, um, it was good. I, I, really did and I don't think nobody knew about this um, this event that we did uh, I think we you know nobody knew about this uh, I didn't talk to my mother and tell my father about that I didn't tell my wife about it either well, she probably find out now but, but um, that was what we did um, together as uh, one of our things is uh, you know because we, we like to be in um, well a fortune type of thing and we, we had a chance to actually do that together um, you know so that was the story um, you know when we got a chance to go to uh, LA and see the chips walking riding around and that kind of thing so we got a chance to you know to relive our our youth <laughs> but um, but we, 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 we did that and so anyway that was that story so I you know it is what it is so it was a good memory. So, but I wanted to recall that memory because uh, I don't think I never talked about that. So, anyway, the shirt right here I'm wearing. Um, this is from a uh, a trip that me and Barry had. Uh, our first, our second time going down to Fort Lauderdale, we went to a, an Irish uh, pub, and uh, we uh, got some some drinks there. And I'm wearing this shirt, and this is from Fort Lauderdale. Uh, they're not a sponsor. I'm just, this is a sh one of the shirts that we got together. He got a shirt, I got a shirt. Uh, he can't wear his, but I can wear mine now. So, anyway, um, that's what I'm going to say. So, you guys have a good week. <clears throat> and uh, um, just uh, enjoy what you're doing. And uh, you guys stay safe. Um, Starting the weather's starting to change, so you guys have a safe day, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, you know, uh, watch up here for the the truck uh, total video. <laughs> it should be up here. If not, just search on my channel. Um, that will tell you the story of how <clears throat> the uh, the truck that I was driving how it got totaled. Uh, so anyway, you guys have a good day. Take care. Bye bye.